Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Nye. I'm the director of the Cancer Care Program here at Nature Cures Clinic. And today I want to talk to you about six principles that underlie the, the treatment programs that we deliver here in our Cancer Care Program. And so I'll run through each of those and explain a little bit about what they are. The first principle that we work with here in our Cancer Care Program is that cancer is a multifactorial disease and that requires a multifactorial approach to treatment. And so there are a number of goals that we're trying to pursue uh, with every cancer patient and every treatment plan. One of those goals is that we need to kill cancer cells, of course. Um, and that's a goal that is pursued uh, very vigorously in the conventional medical world, and it's extremely important. But what's also important is that it's not the only goal. And so there are other goals, such as we want to prevent metastases. It's crucial uh, to do everything possible to prevent cancer from setting up uh, satellites around the body, because that makes treatment much more challenging. And there are a number of natural therapies that can help approach that goal. Uh, another goal is to induce differentiation, or that is, in other words, to get a cancer cell to quit being uh, sort of a generic cell that is just multiplying and force it to be the type of cell it was supposed to be, whether that's a lung cell or a liver cell or prostate cell. To reduce inflammation, that's another very important goal to pursue. And there are a number of other goals that all have to be pursued at the same time in order to really qualify as a comprehensive treatment program. And so a, a comprehensive program here uh, pursues all of these at once, and it does so in the most elegant way that we can, because there are a number of nutrients that will pursue multiple goals at the same time. And so we find the best combination uh, that matches the condition of the particular patient that we're dealing with. A second goal that we're pursuing here in our cancer care program is to seek out uh, synergistic therapies whenever those can be identified. And these are always going to be unique to a patient, especially those patients who are actively involved in, uh, in receiving care from conventional oncologists. And so uh, very commonly, patients are receiving chemotherapy, radiation, um, and our goal is always to find those therapies that we can utilize in the naturopathic world that will synergize with those conventional therapies. And so this is all research-based, and we're looking for studies that will, that will show that, in fact, a particular nutrient will make a particular chemotherapy work better. And by that, it means that that chemotherapy will kill more cancer cells and at the same time, that nutrient will protect healthy cells from being as impacted by that chemotherapy. So we're finding those synergisms, and those exist with many chemotherapies and many nutrients. We want to identify those whenever we can. And a second way that we look for synergism is between n natural therapies themselves. And so there are a number of combinations of natural therapies, particular nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and other kinds of nutrients that when they're combined, they have a greater effect against cancer than they have when used individually against cancer. And so, once again, with every particular cancer type, we want to identify any research that lets us know that we want to combine these two therapies together to optimize whatever outcome that we're looking for. A third principle that we work with in our cancer care program is that if we, if we want to optimize the treatment outcome, then we have to optimize the physical condition of the patient. And so we recognize that in order to overcome any illness, uh, the greater our vitality, the greater the probability that we'll achieve our goal with our health. And so in cancer, it's no different. And so we have to make sure that we use every tool at our disposal to optimize wellness. So we're working aggressively with uh, nutrition therapy. We have an on-staff nutritionist with lots of um, training and developing nutrition programs for cancer patients. We're utilizing acupuncture and Chinese herbs. We uh, utilize visualization and self-hypnosis. Many of these therapies come together in order to optimize the well-being of the patient because our belief and what we see happen is that the more we can improve the overall health of someone, 
the greater the probability that they, they also achieve their goals specifically in the cancer care. We'll move on to the fourth principle, and that is that the cancer care programs that we develop here are evidence-based. And that is to say that we're going to the body of literature that, that exists out there um, to find out which particular alternative therapies have been shown to have an effect against particular cancer types, or maybe even generally against cancer. That's always where we start. And we prioritize the kinds of evidence that are available. And we're looking, of course, first at human studies. We want to know that this has been shown in people to have an effect against particular types of cancer. We also recognize that in dealing with cancer, we're dealing with a very serious disease. And there, of course, there are times when there have been studies done, maybe animal studies or even cell culture studies, where they look in, in at cells in a dish and they test various kinds of nutrients to see if they have an effect on the growth of the replication of these kind of cells. And we recognize that while that's not a human study and we can't say for sure that it's going to have a particular impact, if we're trying to to bring into play as many tools as we can, we mitigate all of these factors. We, we put the most weight on the human studies. But if we do have cell studies or animal studies that show benefit, and we know that the risk of this nutrient, for instance, garlic, has very little chance of harm, then we also bring those into play as well. Recognizing that, in fact, something like garlic has many important healthy properties. And if we can also utilize some anti-cancer properties, of course, we want to do that as well. A fifth principle that we're working with here in our clinic with our cancer care programs is that we stay completely committed to patient-centered care. What this means is that, and especially within the cancer treatment world, uh, that there are lots of protocols that are used to define the type of care that cancer patients receive. Uh, this is these are set out for many different kinds of cancer and depending on the stage of cancer and uh, the imaging and lots of different markers then it people can fall into very clear um, pathways on the drugs that they'll receive and which schedule they'll receive it and when radiation comes into play they're kind of really clear protocols that people fall into and a lot of times the person can get lost in that shuffle and a patient-centered program, it recognizes that individuals have changing needs as they move through their care and that a treatment plan has to adapt to those needs. And so we're constantly, uh, I'm having meeting, periodic meetings um, throughout the month of someone's care to make sure that, that everything is coming together in the way that it needs to and supporting the patient in the best way that we can do that. And if we need to modify a plan on the fly, absolutely we do that. And there's always checking in with the patient to make sure that the care that they're receiving is the care that they expect. Of course, you know, we're, my responsibility is to have the expertise to put the plan together, but it also has to feel well supported on the patient side. And so there's always communication to make sure that that's happening. The sixth and final principle that we have um, that underlies our cancer care program here at the clinic is that uh, success in cancer care is always determined by the individual. And I'll contrast this with care that's commonly delivered in the conventional oncology world. And that, would, that is to say that success is defined as um, in two you know, important terms, which are overall survival and disease-free survival. And absolutely, those are important concepts and are always kept in mind with every cancer patient. But we also have to recognize that, that conventional cancer care can be absolutely brutal and that, that for any given patient, what they understand success to be in their cancer care may not be the same as the generally accepted standards of what is successful. And so part of a patient-centered comprehensive program is to make sure that I understand and everyone involved in care here at the clinic understands for every patient what it means for them to be successful in their cancer care because that has to be the goal that I'm pursuing. There's no abstract goal about success with cancer. There's only the individual goal 
And that's my responsibility, it's our clinic's responsibility. And we do everything we can to facilitate communication here with patients to make sure that that has been articulated to us and that we then reflect that back in the kind of care that we're delivering. So those are the six principles that underlie the cancer care programs that we develop here at our clinic. And we, uh, we have patients coming to us at every stage of the process. There are some who simply have family, family history of cancer risk, and so they want to do everything they can for prevention. And we can develop those kinds of programs, depending on, you know, as aggressive as we need to be based on the risk. There are others who come, you know, late in the game, you know, stage four of all different kinds of cancer. And we can be as aggressive as we need to be. Um, we utilize IV therapy here, nutritional IV therapy, so we can utilize a wide range of nutrients that we can put in IVs that can uh, uh, augment or synergize with the other nutrients we're giving, um, we get through the diet or through supplements, and also synergize with conventional therapies and even help to mitigate the side effects of those conventional therapies. So the whole range of aggressiveness from prevention to, to very aggressive therapies uh, programs we develop here and the first the start of the process is is coming in and the initial visit is an hour and a half and I sit down and we get the full history and find out exactly where somebody falls in that spectrum where they need to be so anyone that has more questions please visit our website we have a lot of information there on our cancer care page and if you still have questions feel free to send them to questions at naturecuresclinic.com. Send an email there, I'll get it, and uh, we'll be happy to answer those. Thanks so much.